in the morning. It broke over it. All right. Again, folks, really quick for us here in our trading room, you you should know this. We go through this every week. We go through it. We just went over it before. But uh, you know, when a stock is moving up and up and up and up, what type of pressure are we more so seeing? Buying pressure or selling pressure? What do we got? Same answer for what we were nicknaming green, right? Buying, right? We're seeing a lot of green. We're seeing a lot of buying for this stock to be moving up. Even as it pulls back, I'm just pointing out that, hey, for every time it's trying to nip over this level here, we're seeing more and more buying pressure. So that's the concept that you want to have here ultimately going into the seven o'clock hour here. We had resistance at four. The more times it nips and breaks over that level in a smaller time frame and a smaller concentration there, I'd feel better. So, hey, it broke below it. This is all before 7 a.m. Support becomes initially resistance. Shake around at first, but on the next test right here, it's breaking over it pretty quickly after the first one there, and it gives you a cleaner move. Not only does it give you a clean move, but yeah, this is like the type of trade where if you were looking for the support entry, this could have been tough because it just holds a penny above. You know, you have a big fat iceberg here, and that's great to have. 103,000 share iceberg on the bid that was at 385 and that likely showed on level three and here's level four to boot to, to show it here as well but you know at least by the time it broke over by the time it broke over this level on the way up right there that's your sweet spot and it's after 7 a.m right it's after seven o'clock right away after it breaks back through the level now you know easy to say it ran afterwards captain hindsight ran nice it needs to hold over this. It's got to hold over four. So it shakes down. If you're in this trade, like you're probably sweating it out here. Like you need this to hold over four if you're looking for a better run after, right? If this breaks below four, you know, who's to say that this can't hold, uh, that this is going to hold a support? Maybe this order gets pulled. So that's where thankfully it does what you need it to do. But just to say, this would have been a sweet spot to get the entry off on. And then thankfully gives you a better play after, right? Gives you what you want ultimately. Big move shortly after. You have resistance here at that 510. So that would have been a great target. It goes right up there. Perfect move up. So this likely would have been a great place for me to get out if I took this trade. I didn't saying if I took this trade, just think this is out there all morning. There's got to be a reason why that's out there. Does it go higher? Yeah. But hey, that's where I say if you're in the pre-market and you're up a dollar maybe right around a dollar, 80 cents, 90 cents, a dollar, maybe even more on this trade. And you're not normally up 80, 90, a dollar or more up on a, you know, let's just put it bluntly, a pretty cheap stock. I'd say as good of a time as any to get out would be right here. Take the money and run. Because yeah, it consolidates and moves up more later on. But that's where I could tell you there's another entry right here at like 490, right? And if you actually take a look in the chat board here, I wanna see if this is the one. Give me a moment here. There was a stock earlier this morning, I was kind of calling over and over and over as top heavy. May have been the GovX trade, may have been GOVX, whatever. But you know, this stock at the time was becoming pretty damn top heavy. Uh, most of the volume from this initial run was filled near the highs, becoming top heavy. So there is big danger in this dumping all the way back down. But what happens if it can break back over this level here? What happens if it can clear back above five? What happens if it gets above five or above even this year, like a little 508? You know, easy to say it moved up later on, but that's what provides you the opportunity, right? That's what we have to realize beforehand. And that's what we try and accomplish here in Traders Talk each week. Um, I'd say that is what we accomplish here in Traders Talk each week. The, the big thing, though, is for you to take these talking points and you know learn from them here, but more so apply them towards your trades, even later on today, even tomorrow, later on throughout this week, right? Uh, the more that we kind of see the same patterns and concepts play out from stock to stock to stock, regardless if it's a large cap, small cap, medium cap, you name it. Um, it gives you more confidence, right? So we dive much further into that in our curriculum, phases one, two, three, dive into that a lot more extensively in our one-on-one -on -one coaching program, uh, ASTS here. I'm a Cyber Group member today.
Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.